System32 is probably the most well-known Windows system folder. It contains a big amount of Windows system files and it is essential for you to run Windows. But what happens if you delete it? Well, it is pretty self-explanatory, your Windows just doesn't run. But you might be asking why is this so well known and it is because of the memes. If you were a computer user around the Windows XP era, you must have come across a post on some shady forum explaining that Microsoft put a virus on your computer called the System32 folder and all you needed to do is download the provided batch file and run it to delete it. And when you actually ran the batch file, the batch file would delete the system32 folder and after you restarted the computer, your computer was unusable. And a good chunk of computer users actually fell for that prank and deleted their system32s. And no, of course your computer is not unusable if you delete this folder, but your operating system is and you will most likely lose all of your files if you have them on one hard drive. And you also need to go through the tedious and long process of resetting your computer, installing all the drivers, and regretting the day you opened that forum post. So yeah, in today's video I'm going to be deleting the System32 folder on every Windows version from Windows 95 all the way up to Windows 11, just to see if anything has changed through the years and what happens. So yeah, let's get started with the video. And here we are in the lovely Windows 95. And Windows 95 was actually when this famous taskbar made its first appearance. And if you didn't know, this same taskbar is featured in Windows 98, Windows ME and Windows 2000. Also, this is the first ever Windows start menu and as you can see it isn't very different to today. So yeah, you can say that this interface is actually pretty good. And the interesting thing about Windows 95 is that the System32 folder doesn't actually exist on it. You only have a system folder, which you can see right over here, and it is located in the Windows folder. And if you enter the system folder, you can see all of the files that are needed to run Windows. So let's just try to delete everything in this folder and see what happens. So I will just select one and hit Ctrl A, hit OK, and then I'll do right click and delete. Yes. And yes to all. Okay, fine. And now you can see that some of the files have been deleted, so the only files that are left right now is those that are needed for this current Windows operation. But if we actually restart the computer, you will see that we won't be able to boot into Windows anymore. I will also empty the recycle bin just to be sure. And now if we go and shut down the computer, and then I'll do restart and hit yes. And then if I go to normal here, you can see that we are missing a bunch of files. And if I just keep on clicking any key, you will see that the computer just restarts and won't boot anymore. So there you go. Now we can move on to Windows 98. Windows 98. In my opinion, this is the best Windows version after Windows XP, of course, that has ever been released. It is great for retro gaming, has amazing driver support, and it is actually quite snappy to use. So if we go into my computer, and onto our C drive, and then into the Windows folder, and then we hit Show Files, you can see that the System32 folder is actually here. And if we enter it, you can see that it only has two files in it. So for Windows 98, I will try to delete the System32 folder and see if anything happens. And if it doesn't, then I will delete the System folder. So first let's try System32 and I will just delete it and hit yes. And there you go, it is gone. And now I will empty the recycle bin. And now I will actually try to restart the computer to see if it still works. And as you can see, the computer still booted. So this is probably the only Windows version that can boot without the System32 folder. So now let's go back into the directory and delete the System folder. You can see that the System32 folder is no longer here. So now I will just try to delete the system folder. Okay, maybe I will have to do control A over here again. So I'll try that and then I'll do right click and delete. Hit yes and then yes to all. And there you go. You can see that several files have been deleted once again. 
So now I will just close out of this, empty the recycling bin. So let's restart the computer and see what happens. And there you go, we get pretty much the same screen as in Windows 95. And if we keep on clicking the click, you can see that it doesn't want to start up anymore. Here we are in the beautiful Windows Millennium Edition, or as I like to call it, Windows Misery Edition. And if you notice that it looks even more scuffed than it usually does, that is because I don't have any graphics drivers, so yeah, it'll just have to do. I don't know how Microsoft have managed so many things to go wrong with this system, because it was literally just a rebrand of Windows 98. But yeah, Windows Me is widely known to be the worst Windows version, and some would even go as far as to call it the worst Microsoft product. Not sure how that will work because the Zune exists, but whatever. So yeah, let's put Windows Me out of its misery and delete System32 on it. Should be located in the same place as for Windows 98 and all the other operating systems. And here is the System32 folder in Windows Me, so let's enter it. And as you can see, it has a lot more files than in 98, so I'm going to try to delete it first before I delete the actual system folder and see if this will actually make Windows unusable. Okay, and this is the first Windows version where we actually get the access is denied, as you can see. So I will just go into the folder and control A all of them and then I'll delete them. And there you go, that seems to work, so let's exit out of this. And let's empty the recycle bin. You might have seen that there are actually 62 items in there, so that is more than in Windows 98 and 95. So let's restart the machine and see what happens. And you can see that it still boots normally without the System32 folder. So let's delete the system folder. And upon restarting, it actually recreated the system32 folder, so it just placed all of the files back, which is pretty cool. But let's delete the system folder and see what happens. And here is the batch file that we will need to run to delete the system folder. So I will just go file, save as, and I will save it as a .bat file. And here is the batch file, so let's run it. And then we need to click Y over here. There you go, and it says that it has finished. So you can see that the computer is still usable, but let's go check the system folder and you can see that the C drive won't even open anymore so now I will just restart and see what happens and there it is we have managed to kill Windows ME thankfully here we are in Windows 2000, the first Windows version that wasn't built on top of DOS. And Microsoft really did choose a great operating system to end the DOS era with. But anyways, you can see that Windows 2000 is still pretty similar to 98, Me, and 95. The only difference is some of the icons, but those were already present in Windows ME. And as you can see, this one also looks very scuffed because I don't have any of the graphics drivers on pretty much any of these VMs. But let's go over to the C drive as we always do. And here we can see the System32 folder, so let's check what's inside. And this is also the first Windows version to contain all of the important files in the System32 folder, and not in the actual System folder. You can see that it was pretty much switched, so now the System folder contains only these files and System32 contains all of the important ones. So let's not waste any more time and see what happens when we delete System32. I will again create a batch file for this. And for Windows 2000, the batch file looks like this, so let's save it. And here is the batch file, so let's just run it. And then we need to press yes once again and enter. And there we go. So now let's check how the System32 folder looks. And we actually can't because it's already all corrupted. So yeah, that is probably an occurring theme. So let's restart the system and see what happens, even though we probably already know what will happen. And here we go. The warning is pretty much exactly the same as for Windows ME. So let's just move over to Windows XP. And here we are in the best Windows version that ever came out, in my opinion. I would definitely still use Windows XP if it was still supported to this day. And this is the operating system that I actually grew up on. This was what my family PC ran that we had at the time. So yeah, it is pretty cool to be back on it. And I'm also pretty sure that around the Windows XP era is where the deleting System32 to speed up your computer prank actually originated. And there are a bunch of memes made about this. They would basically 
basically just tell you to create this batch file and that Microsoft put a virus on your computer on purpose and that it needed to be deleted. And that virus was actually the System32 folder. So let's go over to the System32 folder once again. And here it is and you can see that it still contains all of the important files as in Windows 2000. And as for the actual system folder it still contains these few files. So this is pretty much the same as in Windows 2000. So yeah, I just downloaded this batch file off the internet and it says that it will clean up my computer, so let's run it. Okay, yes, I'm sure that I want to clean my computer, so let's hit enter. I don't know why it says access is denied, but yeah, that is pretty weird. But the website did say that this will speed up my computer over 700%, so yeah, I guess I'll just be patient. And there we go, it looks like the process has finished, and then the website said that I should restart my computer just so the changes could take effect, so I will do that right now. Oh no, what is this weird error message? Well, I've must have gone and scammed. Welp, guess it's time to upgrade to Windows Vista, I heard it was amazing anyways. And somehow we are back at another worst Microsoft product of all time. So yeah, very good job Microsoft, I guess you made some very nice operating systems back in the day. As you can see, the start menu has changed a bit from Windows XP, and it has this very ugly two button interface down here which I don't like. And no one pretty much likes anything about this OS and so many people downgraded back to XP that it was actually comical. But yeah, let's move on from that and look at the System32 folder. And here it is, you can see that it contains even more files than in previous Windows versions. So yeah, let's run the batch file once again and kill this beautiful piece of software. Here it is and I can't actually wait to run this, press yes, enter, and there we go. And now let's restart quick because I can't look at this mess anymore. Is it actually booting back up? Oh my god, it survived! So, so far the worst Windows version actually lasted the most, which is pretty comical if you ask me. Looks like nothing was deleted. So let's try the control A method on here. Okay, so it looks like it is actually deleting the folders now, which is pretty weird. Usually the bad file works a lot better, but we'll see what happens now. Okay, and now let's go check the recycle bin to see if anything was deleted. And yes, it was. Let's see how many files. 61 files were actually deleted, so I'll delete them permanently. And now we'll see what happens when you restart it. And thankfully it didn't boot back up, it is just stuck on this black screen. So yeah, we have managed to kill it. So now let's move over to the better version of Windows Vista. And this is what Windows Vista should have been. Windows 7 was released only a couple of years after Windows Vista, and pretty much if they have only worked for Windows Vista for a little bit more, if they haven't rushed it out, it would look like this and everybody would have loved it. But yeah, Windows 7 is also a very great operating system, I also grew up on this one. And yeah, I remember using this OS in school a lot because our computers were very underpowered and couldn't run Windows 10. So yeah, for most of my childhood I've been doing IT class on Windows 7. So let's go into the System32. So it has all of the same folders and files as in Windows Vista. So what I will do is try the batch file once again. And here is the batch file, so let's run it. Okay, and we got pretty much the same effect as in Windows Vista, so let's try to open my computer and see if it will open. And yes, it actually will open all the way to the System32 folder, so I guess that batch file did nothing again. But I will do a restart now anyways, just because I knew you guys would ask for it, so I'll just restart it. And yes, as you can see, Windows 7 is still fine. So now the only thing that we have left is the Control A method, so let's try that. And the process seems to be finished, so let's see how much files it deleted. Okay, so the files didn't actually go in the recycling bin, and I don't know if that means that it didn't delete anything, but let's just try to restart it. And there it is. We have managed to kill it. So yeah, I guess it just didn't put the files in the recycling bin, it just permanently deleted them. But if we hit enter, you can see that we can choose this. And if we hit start Windows normally, it just won't start. So yeah, let's move over to another very good Windows version.
And here we are in Windows 8.1 with this very controversial start menu. And I think this is the perfect example of a saying that says if it's not broken, don't fix it. The Windows 7 start menu was completely fine and they just had to change it to this. And a lot of people didn't like this, of course. So yeah, the normal start menu was back in Windows 10, as you probably know. This Windows version was also quite unstable, but it wasn't nearly as hated as Windows ME and Vista. Okay, so I just looked some stuff up online and it turns out that we need to turn on the permission to delete the folder. So first we need to locate the folder and then we need to right click it and select properties. And then we need to go to security and then we need to select our user, which is this one. And then we need to select this administrators option over here and then click advanced and then we need to select change over here and then yes and now we need to type in our username over here and then hit check names and this should appear and after that appears just hit ok here and then hit this button over here and then we will select apply and you can see that it will change the ownership and after this appears just hit ok and then ok over here and we will actually need to reopen properties so just do that and after you reopen them go back to security select the administrator administrator and then just hit edit over here and then select the administrator over here once again and select full control and hit apply and then yes and after that applies we will just hit ok and then ok here and now we should be able to delete the contents of the folder and now you can see that it recycled a bunch of files not like before so now I will just empty the recycling bin and now if we try to open this PC it still works as you can see but if we try to go to the system32 folder you can see that it is much smaller than it was before so now I will just restart the computer for the last time hopefully and there we go it says preparing automatic repair which means that we did this successfully but I will just wait for it to boot into the recovery menu and there it is automatic repair couldn't repair your PC so we have only two more windows versions to go so let's move over to Windows 10 and we are booted in Windows 10 and you can see how incredibly slow Windows 10 is with 2 gigabytes of RAM because that's how much the VM gave it on default but yeah let's not waste time let's immediately go to the system32 folder and see what needs to be done to delete it and here is the system32 folder and now I will just try to delete everything without changing any settings to see if anything has changed from Windows 8.1 to now so I will see how many items it will actually recycle and it actually did do a fair amount so I am just going to try to empty the recycle bin and then restart it yeah 1600 items so I don't know we might be good here let's try to restart and see if it still works and yes, it just keeps on boot looping right now. So in Windows 10, it is actually pretty easy to delete System32, which I did not expect. And now it also says preparing automatic repair. So we'll see if it gets to the same recovery screen that Windows 8 got to. And yes, it just boots into automatic repair. So now I'm not sure if I ran the repair option, if this would work. Resetting the PC will probably work, but then again, that is a brand new installation of Windows 10. So all of your files files will probably be gone. So now let's just move over to Windows 11. And for the last Windows version of this video, we have Windows 11. Now of course Windows 11 hasn't actually been released yet, this is just a beta build of it, but I'm still going to include it in the video because that is actually what I'm using on my main computer right now. So you can see that the start menu has finally changed and now it is in the middle, but you can actually put it back to the left side, we will just need to go into settings and you also need to have Windows activated. So yeah, so far I really like Windows 11 and I've been using it for almost a month now as my main OS. And and I think it will be a great operating system. But yeah, let's go over to the System32 folder because that is the premise of this video after all. So let's enter the System32 folder and you can see that the folder pretty much stayed the same all the way from Windows XP up to Windows 11. So now I will just try to control A everything and there we go. So let's see how many items have been recycled and it says that it recycled about 3000 items so that is more than in Windows 10 and now we will just restart the computer and see if it is dead and yes the computer does seem to be dead because this is the exact same thing that happened on Windows 10 and there you go I have successfully deleted system 
32 on every Windows version from Windows 95 all the way up to Windows 11. So if you guys like this style of video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And also, please check out my Twitter and Instagram and my Patreon page. And I will see you guys in the next video.